Dig it, dig it, dig it. Hello, P the Outside World, and today we're going to be talking about the new Mario movie. I've been waiting this movie basically my whole life, and I'm glad it's finally here. For the most part, I'm not going to be saying much new that I haven't heard from other reviews, but there is one thing that I want to expand upon, and it is something that I didn't really see anyone go in depth which is the pacing. Before I do that though, I want to tell you about my experience before the movie. I wore a Luigi hat to school and everyone asked me if I was going to see the movie because most people in my grade know that I love Mario and I said yes. I was going to skip my track practice that day and just go see the movie but my coach said that he'd drop me off at the theater right after practice so I went anyway. He dropped me off at the theater and I went to a nearby grocery store to get snacks and then I started walking towards the theater and I passed a Chinese restaurant and I heard someone call my name. I heard my name again and this time I turned around and walked inside the restaurant and I saw my <laughs> That asked me a few days earlier if I wanted to watch the movie with them and I was expecting to meet them at the theater. Turns out that one of <laughs> had parents that owned the restaurant so his mom gave us food before the movie and it was really good. We walked into the theater, got our tickets, and we laughed the whole time. I called out basically every reference ever that no one else in the theater probably got. Also, Bowser's love ballad for Peach was definitely the best part of the movie. Peaches, 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 told you the lore behind April 5th, what did I actually think of the movie? I absolutely love the movie and I already want to go see it again. However, I think from a purely critical standpoint, it's just mediocre. A Mario fan will get a lot out of this movie, but to your average person, it's probably just a 7 out of 10 at best. I saw some reviews saying things like no one over the age of 15 would get enjoyment out of this movie, and I very much disagree with the point that this movie was made for kids. Were kids in mind when this movie was made? Most likely, but I think the main target for this movie were hardcore fans with families being a secondary demographic. Most of the marketing have references that would make fans excited for the movie rather than purely general things that would make the movie look exciting. It's simply a new take on the Mario origin story and a good one at that. And speaking of simple things, this movie is very simple. So simple, in fact, that there isn't many problems with this movie, but instead, pretty much everything had room for improvement. The two things I think they got absolutely right are the visuals and voice acting. The animation is obviously up to the standard of modern animated movies, but the environments the well-designed characters walk through are gorgeous. This movie really made the idea of an open-world Mario game without barriers like an Odyssey seem more appealing, and while that probably wouldn't work without greatly departing for what makes Mario Mario in the first place, the point is that I would love to just explore this beautiful world. And about the voice acting, it actually exceeded my expectations. I already thought the cast was pretty good and each actor fit their character really well, but the voices were even better than I thought they would be. Even Chris Pratt killed it as Mario, which was a huge shock considering what we saw in the trailers. It seems like they really just did a montage of his worst lines for the trailers because the rest of it actually worked pretty well. Earlier I mentioned the pacing of the movie and I have to say this was by far the worst part of the movie. Everything moves way too fast and it feels like nothing is explored as much as it should have been. I think the intro is very strong, but Everything after the initial Mushroom Kingdom scenes was just not paced well at all. I have heard other reviews say the movie could have benefited from a longer runtime, and while I don't disagree that it could have helped the problem, I don't think the film's duration is the issue. Look at Toy Story, a 1994 animated movie that is shorter than the Mario movie and keeps the viewers of the movie engaged throughout the whole thing. There are really only a handful of locations in this movie, but the Mario movie only has a few more and a great writer could have found a solution to the problem without adding extra minutes to the movie. Maybe they could have had the Rainbow Road party right after Mario, Toad, and Peach leave the Mushroom Kingdom, since the cogs wouldn't have been there, it could have been shortened because the scene we ended up with in the movie was decently long because Mario Kart sells stupidly well and everyone would be familiar with it, although it was a great scene still. In replacement of the removed time from the Rainbow Road part, we could instead have some more time dedicated to fleshing out Peach and DK a little bit more. The Kongs could still be present in the movie, but instead of the blue shell knocking Mario into the water like it did in the movie, it could knock Mario, Peach, and Toad into the jungle, and the Kongs would recognize Peach and get her safe and imprison Mario and Toad, and still have the DK fight scene with maybe Toad joining in on too. I just really feel that Mario should have had a little more time with Peach, especially to make it feel less like they were just getting along to convenience the plot. The last actual thing regarding the movie that I would like to talk about is the music. It was mostly just orchestral remix of classic NES Mario songs, but I saw many complaints about pop music that didn't fit well in the movie. And while I agree that random pop music out of nowhere is kind of odd, I didn't find it all that offensive. I think animated movies should stick to original music for the most part, unless the licensed song they want to use genuinely fits what a scene is going for. For example, in Sonic 2, the intro for Walk by Pantera is played at the very beginning of the Eggman fight, and I feel that if it was played throughout the entire fight, it would have fit very well with the scene. Also, while we're on the topic of video game adaptation sequels, what is in the future of Mario movies? 
you will most likely get a sequel within the next three years or so, and I think just like the Sonic 2 movie, it will be a great improvement on the first. We could have more time for Peach and Mario to establish a connection, and have Mario and DK compete like rivals again at some point, and then have several action sequences just like the first film. It's hard to say where the plot of the second Mario movie would go, but I think it's very possible they could do a Mario World or even Mario Galaxy inspired story. I personally would like to see a Sunshine plot with Bowser being small up until the third act of the movie, and having Bowser Jr. take the lead as villain, and maybe actually make him an intimidating villain up to the reveal of him being Bowser's son. Also, if Logan 30 Acre doesn't play Junior, I'm protesting.